Charlotte, thanks for joining us. Um, what do you see as a key to the industry over the next 12 months? I think there's a rise in um, immersive content uh, and across platform viewing of the content, particularly virtual reality in um, virtual reality headsets. So I think one of the most exciting developments uh, is going to be Apple TV. Um, obviously, the Apple have conquered the mobile front, the tablet front. Many other um, companies have tried to uh, conquer your living room, but I think Apple are going to be the one with a real shot of doing it. So for those who don't know, um, they've just opened up the Apple TV for developers to create applications on there. The Apple TV has been around for about seven years, but the first time brands can now actually build customised user experiences for your TV screen. And I think it's a really, really exciting opportunity. I mean, I guess the question is, what is our industry? And I think that's what excites me, is that the industry is not going to be the same and it's always changing. So for me, that constant of change is what excites me. And, you know, no one can truly predict what that means for, for exactly for our discipline in terms of on the ground execution, what does that look like? But I think more people are going to be paying more attention to exactly what consumers need. And something we've talked about for years, but really paying that off with like a richer understanding through data, through uh, personal connections to the brand, uh, far more insight into how they behave and what they need, and then to get rid of the shit they don't need. Basically. We'll get to the, especially in digital, we'll get to the more simplified ideas. So we have this trend of like a lot of technology coming around, a lot of things happening. But I think that at a certain point we will kind of settle in and go back to actually simplifying things and, and coming up with the ideas. Because I don't really think that, you know, if we have 20 channels that we can use, that we necessarily need to use all 20 of these. And I'm actually hoping to see to see more of that. And I, and I think that would be that would be great because there are some amazing channels. We just need to pick the right one. I think for me what's unbelievably exciting is the progress that's happening in music. Um, so there's one company that I'm unbelievably sort of interested in and keeping my eye on and it's called Juke Deck. Um, and they actually have an algorithm that can produce rights free music. So for us producing video it means that an algorithm can now produce the soundtracks to all our content um, and every track is original. And multi-channel, omni-channel has been flogged to death, but I think 2016 could really be the year where you start to get you know, real multi-channel experiences um, using open source technology, um, and that would mean almost the end of the native app as well. So, you know, web experiences on mobile that are as good as native apps, um, which will really revolutionize customer experience um, and the speed at which organizations can deliver value to their customers. I would imagine, and this is probably more of a hope than a, a trend, but I'd like to see uh, more agencies in the north representing, so we're based in Sheffield, um, and it'd be good to see a lot more work happening outside of the M25. I must admit, I'm really excited about uh, the potential of virtual reality. Um, I, you know, I grew up, show me age a bit here, but I grew up in the 80s, 90s, where virtual reality was first introduced and even though the graphics were crap and the games were rubbish, but it was such an amazing experience. The fact that we're now at a stage, we're taking it on to the next level. And, you know, I've seen some of the stuff that, um, you know, Oculus Rift are bringing out and some of the other um, brands. You know, it's looking phenomenal. There's two, there's two or three things on my radar at the moment. We've been talking about things like the Internet of Things and alternative reality and virtual reality for what seems like, well, in the case of the Internet of Things, 15 years now. But I genuinely think, as all the hardware and the software platforms st start talking to one another, and as in the case of alternative reality and VR, the technology comes down to a price point where the hardware gets out there, I'm really excited to see how, how agencies um, and brands think about how to, how to use those platforms. Thank you.